Uh, so I love spending time outside. You know, I spend a lot of my free time hiking or biking. A large part of hiking for me is botanizing and looking at plants and identifying wildflowers and of course looking for wild blueberry species. Patience is a huge part of plant breeding, especially when it comes to breeding a perennial crop like blueberries. So a number of years goes into every single blueberry plant that we release, usually seven to 10 years before we decide a plant is good enough to send to our growers. So you need to be thinking long-term, and while there are these mad dashes to make all your crosses, you also need to be patient in order to see what it is that the plant has to give you. I'm Jessica Gilbert, and I'm the molecular blueberry breeder here at Driscoll's. So my biggest um, passion with breeding blueberries is flavor. The different blueberry varieties, they each have their unique flavor, just like Gala and Fuji and Granny Smith apples have their different unique flavors. For me, the perfect blueberry eating experience is a blueberry has really nice, firm texture, like you'd pop it right out of the refrigerator with. Um, juicy, sweet, but still a little tart to give it some depth, having some of that floral uh, or creamy um, sort of flavor notes. It's really important to decide, set goals for your crosses. So if you have a perfect flower, you have male and female parts on that flower and you run through a list of hundreds of crosses and find the father plant and collects all the open flowers for pollen and find the mother plant and you tweeze off the petals, you tweeze off the anthers, you squeeze the pollen out onto your fingernail and put it onto the, onto the pistol and then um, tag it and hope that that cross works. We have thousands of plants for our different breeding programs. And then every year we have to walk each and every one of those thousands of plants and eat the fruit. And you know, it, each plant gets a few seconds and if it doesn't make the cut, then it, it it's out of the breeding program. So it has a brief amount of time to impress us. And if it doesn't, it is gone. In the last few years, we've made it a much um, bigger deal to focus on blueberry fruit quality traits. So not only um, providing berries that have really good flavor, but berries that have good flavor and texture in specific regions where it's hard to grow them um, so that we can provide blueberries in the off season. So my favorite part of my job is days where we're out in the seedling fields and you're eating hundreds, sometimes thousands of different blueberries. And a lot of them are bad, but eventually during that day, you get to this one plant that has great flavor. It has amazing texture. The plant looks super healthy. And it's that feeling of finding that little blueberry superstar that makes the job really awesome. We're always searching for a way to improve these berries and create a better experience for all of us who truly love blueberries. It's what makes the Driscoll's berries so special.